and welcome to my channel. I am really excited to get started. This is something I have wanted to do for quite some time. So this is going to be a gaming channel. Hi, I'm Kayla. Um, and I am very cozy. As you can see, I've got my very cozy blanket here. I have my coffee. I have my little Charlie over here in the corner, if you can see him, the little fluffy guy over there. Um, so I'm cozy and I am ready to get into this and start gaming with you guys. So I am actually going to start this off with a not so berry challenge. So we are going to be jumping into The Sims 4 and doing that challenge. I love to play legacy challenges. Um, this challenge I have not finished yet. So I'm really excited to kick this off and get into it. So let's just cover the very basic rules of the Not So Berry Challenge. I'm sure a lot of you know it already, but uh, the basic rules for the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge are each heir must represent the color um, of their generation. So each generation will have a different color that we will be working with. Um, colors of the spouses don't matter, so we don't have to worry much about that. Um, it does say money cheats can be used. I will tell you guys, I really like a challenge in The Sims 4, so I will not be using money cheats. That is pretty much it. We have to keep our lifespan on normal, but those are just the basic rules. So we are going to be starting off with Generation 1, which is our Mint Generation. Um, this is a Lil Cinzy challenge, so if you guys are interested in the full breakdown of all of the rules, I will link those down below for you. I am going to put a little bit of a twist onto this challenge. I like to, like I said, I really like a challenge, so I'm going to make it a little bit harder. I'm going to add in a few of my own rules, um, so I'll call it the Not So Berry with the Twist challenge, but... Let's break down our mint generation really quickly here. So our mint generation is a mischievous, a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career driven, but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends. You love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family. So our traits are going to be vegetarian, jealous, materialistic. We're going to be a chief of mistress aspiration, and we want to be a scientist. So scientist career, chief of mischief aspiration, we are going to max the mischief skill. We're going to max, max the logic skill. Um, and add in of my own is I would also like to max the bowling skill. Complete the element collection. We're going to hope to get a home worth 75000 and then attend all humor and hijinks festivals, which I thought would be a fun thing for our mischievous sim. So let's jump into game. Okay, we are in game and I am really excited to show you guys our mint sim who's going to kick off this legacy challenge for us. So here she is. Let's jump into Cass really quick so you guys can Mess see her up close. So this is a Minta Berry. She is gonna be our founder for our Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. <laughs> So you guys can see over here, she has the Chief of Mischief aspiration. She is a jealous, vegetarian, materialistic sim. I absolutely love how she turned out. I think she is so cute. So I'll just zoom in on her face or give you guys a little close up of her face here. So this is what she looks like. She does wear glasses. She's got minty eye color as well as minty hair. And actually I was thinking, I think it was Claire Siobhan that did a really cool thing where she did, instead of doing um, the same color eyes for each generation, here, let me go on one of her outfits where she's not wearing glasses. She did like the generation before. So like the, this generation would have the generation before's eyes. And of course, like she, she's our first generation. But maybe we could do that and give her blue eyes um, because blue would be the last generation. I think that's kind of fun. And I think it kind of changes up our sim a little bit um, instead of them all being kind of like monochromatic one tone. I really think those are just super pretty blue eyes on her. So let's stick with that. Okay. Now, let me show you guys with those last minute changes, our Sim. So this is a Minta. This is one of her everyday outfits. Um, she's a little bit more posh because she is materialistic. She does have some relaxed looks. So her second everyday outfit here, you can see is a little bit more relaxed. Um, she's just got the sneaks going. 
And then formal, she gets a little bit more vavoom. She's got the makeup going. So very cute there. This is her athletic wear. This is her sleepy time wear when she's headed off to bed. I'm obsessed with these little um, slippers. Party wear. This is her bathing suit. And then this is her hot weather wear. She has a couple outfits here. So this is her first hot weather outfit. And then this is her second hot weather outfit. I absolutely love this shirt, um, especially for kind of our more nerdy, scientist-y, scientist -y, if that's a word, um, scientist girl, Aminta here. So I think that's super cute. And then her winter fit is there. All right, so now that you guys have gotten to see her, let's go ahead, hit play, and jump into game. I moved her in, so as you guys can probably see her too, I moved her into Strangerville. I thought Strangerville would just be a really fun place to start off this challenge, especially since Aminta is a scientist. Um, there's been no play in Strangerville so far in this save file that I'm aware of, so we'll just start out at the base there won't be any spores or vines coming out of toilets or anything like that but i thought it would kind of be fun to be in strangerville so we start out here with it being 11 23 and we can take a peek at aminta's little house here so this is her place you guys can see it's pretty small um, she didn't start out with that much money, so we did try to or start to mintify it just a little bit. She's gotten to bed already. She's sleepy. Um, it is two in the morning, I suppose. Um, we started to mintify it a little bit. We'll, of course, have much more to do. And actually, while I'm thinking about that, I might jump into build mode really quick and just change out a few things. We have 3,806 simoleons, so let's see what we can do here to make this just a little bit cuter, I think back into game we're gonna let our girl sleep for a little bit here she almost and i'm actually gonna wake her up now because she has full energy she is hungry so let's get you know i'm all about getting that cooking skill going girl because you are gonna have to cook is there a reason we can't cook anything what's going on here ahaha ah, simple living and then no that will not be our journey today <laughs> and now let's cook without issue we're gonna make ourselves some breakfast we're gonna do a little eggs and toast do a family size we're living so low our girl is in her jams about to make some breakfast we are just hoping and wishing and dreaming and praying that she doesn't um burn the house down right now woo aminta and then once she's done we're gonna have her eat mm -hmm. that's gonna be great and then she definitely needs to start up in her career right away so we'll have her call join the scientist career get that going um let's speed this up a little bit while she's cooking it doesn't seem like she's gonna burn the house down so that is phenomenal we acquired the cooking skill changing into her every day tee that up let's have her call to get a job when she's ready to go why don't you go ahead and clean that up girly business and then we'll have you find a job vegetarian lesson aminta is a vegetarian vegetarian sims avoid foods made with meat such as chicken beef and fish so that is something we're definitely gonna have to try to remember i'm terrible with my vegetarian sims i just it it just slips my mind to be honest that they are vegetarian so we're just gonna have to be diligent or try to be diligent uh, and make sure that she doesn't eat any meat because she will get sick from it okay we of course want to be a scientist we are jazzed we are excited we entered the scientist career we're now a lab technician at future sims okay. Labs. we start tuesday at 10 a.m so that is tomorrow we are gonna start so in the meantime 
let's take a peek at what our she's gonna watch some tv which is great let's take a peek at what our chief of mischief aspiration says so our chief of mischief mischief aspiration we want to perform 10 mean or mischievous interactions we want to actually be disliked by two sims um and that's kind of where we start with that we should set out and see where we can go in strangerville it's 7 23 in the morning um what do we have to do for work we just have to have two breakthroughs for work and there's a lot of things i think we can do to get breakthroughs. so actually maybe before we go out for the day i'm gonna go ahead and buy her a chess table because i totally forgot to do that okay so maybe it'll be nice come and play that'll help your fun um play some chess oh what's going on there who's about what's going on there willow willow woods she got goofed she done got goofed everybody well you know strangerville is gonna oh, ah. strangerville so what are we gonna do about that not much our girl's not here to take down the mother plant listen she's a scientist she wanted to be a scientist. That's why she moved to Strangerville. She knew that's where the scientist hung out. So um, we're not here today to take on the mother plant. Somebody, you know, somebody will do it. Somebody will handle it. Anybody else getting uh, Joel from The Last of Us vibes? Somebody else will come along, you know? Somebody else will come along. We acquired the logic skill. Right on, girl. Now, maybe we can do a little traveling. So let's see where we can go. Let's check out the library. Here we are at the <laughs> Strangerville <laughs> Library. Love to meet some people here, but I also just check out how pretty this is. This is gorgeous. And we are in Sweetie Wright's save file. That's why everything looks um, different than what you guys are used to seeing if you're playing if you're playing the game and you're just in oh have opened up you know a, a regular save file because these are all custom builds so very very pretty stuff okay let's meet some people that is ultimately why we came here so who do we have over here we have a little club over here so this is jade let's go say hi to jade how about let's do a friendly introduction maybe jade likes to bowl we're looking for friends who like to bowl. This oh. samba. Huh? Hi, Jade. I'm Aminta. <laughs> Jade says hello. Sula. <laughs> about, did we just meet Lily? Oh, Lily's Silly. a teen. <laughs> oh, Jade's a teen. Or are these all teens? Uh, oh, these are all teens. <laughs> okay, well, we met the teens. I don't, that's, I don't know. Who is this? Oh, he's a librarian. Okay, let's go... Oh. Who do we have up here? I mean, I just don't feel like we should be hanging out with the teens. Who is this man? This is Marshall. Marshall Gleason. He is a scientist. Let's go say hi to him. Because maybe we'll work with him. She's hanging out with the teens. <laughs> we didn't know we're teens. So they're probably like, ma'am, can you kindly leave our book club? <laughs> Like, this was a cool spot until the old lady oh, came. And she's not old, by the way. She's a young adult, but, you know, when you're a teen. So, so. All right, what did we think of Marshall? <laughs> Marshall, we so, think so. you are responsible. Well, let's let's get a, let's do a little mischief on him. Let's see if he's here for the mischief. So let's just, let's do a little cheeky fun one. Let's just impersonate him. We're around the teens. We want to be cool. Wait, come back. Don't go all the way upstairs. Come back and ask him what's that spot. Don't leave, Marshall. We think you're adventurous. Marshall! You're just going to stand here? While your only friend in the whole world walks off? Marshall! Come back! Marshall, no. All right, fine. I guess. Let's see who else we can meet. Who's this? Another scientist, Quentin. Let's go meet Quentin. 
going to meet our fellow near. scientists before our <laughs> first day of work. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, what do we think of Quentin? Ooh, we're not as... I think he's a bit dramatic, which... Fair. Maybe he is a bit dramatic. But, if that's the case, if we don't feel too strongly about him, let's impersonate mermaids. Let's get up to a bit of mischief. Let's scare him. Oh, he didn't like that. Maybe Quentin and I aren't going to be friends. Yes. Okay, wait. So we acquired the mischief skill. Aminta's new skill in mischief will allow her to do trick with hand buzzer and several other mischievous social interactions. Boom, boom. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, wait. Quentin. You don't get to walk away just because you didn't like our mischievous interactions. Oh my gosh, you're so fast. We do need to be disliked by a sim, so we're not going to apologize. No, we're going to... We're feeling playful, so we're going to slap them oh. silly. She feels she feels fulfilled. Aminta checks one more task off the list of things that she wants to do. Oh, because she wanted to be mischievous. We have really upset this mustache man. So we're going to slap him silly. We're going to lie about our career because we don't want him to know we're a scientist. Oh, he thought that was funny, though. Sir, you can't keep trying to leave when I'm doing mischievous interactions on you. Well, heck. Okay. She does not like Quentin. Her and Quentin are not friends. Maybe we actually want to try to make a friend. Everybody keeps leaving is the unfortunate part. Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. Hang on now. Who are you, sir? Say hi to this man. Let's do a friendly introduction to you. Who are you? Go ahead and get off that computer. Go ahead and get off that computer. Go ahead and say hello to Norman Perdue. Hello, Norman. What do we think of Norman? We think Norman is impact conscious. I love that. It's brightness day. Let's give him a compliment and then let's hit him with a tish of mischief. And if he likes the mischief, we'll know. We're going to do a what's that spot. And we'll know he maybe. He's made it here for us. Just a tish. Hit him with that tish of mischief, girl. Show him what you're about. Show him what you're about. They know what that spot is. What's that spot? <laughs> he liked it. Prompts Maisie. He liked it. He thinks we're funny. Okay, very cool. Yes. Let's go full blown. Trick him with the hand buzzer. Really go for it. She's like that friend that's. I mean, it's 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 a bit much, right? Like in the beginning, you're like, haha, okay, good one. And then by the end of it, you're maybe like, enough, Aminta. Like I've had enough. So we're gonna see. See, so think we're funny. Oh, he does. He still thinks we're funny. Okay, I want to see what he thought of us. So this is Norman. Open his profile. Oh, we think he's unattractive though. So that's okay. We can just be, maybe be really good friends. Uh, we have a neutral chemistry, so we were maybe we're definitely on a friend vibe with Norman. But he could be our first friend. He thinks we're sophisticated. <laughs> we, we literally just did a what's that spot but on his on his shirt, and then we did a. Uh, a hand buzzer but he thinks we're super sophisticated so oh my gosh norman i think we're gonna be besties all right girl let's go home we've been at the library for a while tried to get in with that strangerville cool crowd the page turners we also need to have some breakthroughs so let's maybe just keep hammering at that logic skill we have gotten to level two of our logic skill so we can now collect plant samples and analyze them under the microscope we can also discuss logic with other sims which is fascinating i'm sure for other Ooh, sims. <laughs> uh, we also did get four of our mischievous interactions. Oh, okay, perfect. So, Humor and Hijinx Festival is in town. Click on any of the dynamic signs around town to find out more. So this is part of one of the things I added in as part of this challenge, which was that every time the Humor, humor and Hijinx Festival comes around, we are gonna go to it. Um, I think this, it's just a fun thing because she's a very right. mischievous sim. So we're going to stop our logic and we are actually going to travel to the Humor and Hijinx Festival. Um, we're not going to take anyone with us. We're still meeting people. So let's quit that. And let's go. Ah, 
awesome. And I'm going to change her outfit here to her other summer outfit because it feels more humor and hijinks to me. So the pranksters and the jokesters challenge has begun. Drink from either the dark or light tea to join a side to start. All right. So let's go ahead and we want to join the pranksters because that is the mischief side. So we're really going mischief versus comedy here. So we're going to drink some of that. Okay. So Aminta has joined the pranksters. Perform mischief interactions to gain points for your team. So let's go ahead and uh, let's give you a friendly introduction. Okay, we met somebody and we are going to imply tea sabotage. I heard this tea is straight up poison, bro. Bro, I heard this tea was poison. Did you drink it? Did you drink that tea? And we got to level two of mischief with that and lie about our career. And say, you know what? We are Ruhana Deloba. The ambassador to Solani. He's going to be like, what? That's crazy. And we're going to be like, we know. Uh, we know that's crazy. We leveled up to level three of mischief. We can ask due date on a sim who aren't pregnant, which is so mean, and dare sims to streak. We now kick over trash cans, make prank phone calls, and we're not getting along with this guy. Okay, Norman said, let's go light fireworks at the Humor and Hygiene Festival. Norman, we're here. Come here. Go ahead and go potty. Quit talking to this guy. You've sufficiently freaked him out, I promise. He's scared poopless. Get your fuh. Have they told us what's going on with the lead yet? Okay, it says the pranksters are in the lead by five. Keep performing interactions for your team to earn points. I feel like we've... Oh, no. Why are we... Crap, you guys. Actually, I already did it. Fa has meat in it, and I freaking fed it to her. So she's violating her principles. Eating meat brings sadness to a vegetarian soul. Aminta, I'm sorry. That's actually, I literally said this too, like five freaking seconds ago. Vegetarian lesson. Aminta is a vegetarian. Vegetarian Sims. Avoid foods made with meat, such as chicken, beef, and fish. So that is something we're definitely going to have to try to remember. I'm terrible with my vegetarian sims. I, I'm i sorry. I know. it's That was too much. I'm sorry, girl. Just look at She's sad. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Freaking heck. All right. Can we keep performing this mischievous interactions, I guess? Maybe that'll make us feel better. Well, here's Norman. Let's go talk to Norman. Norman, are you coming? Tell him that we compromised everything we believe in. But it wasn't our fault. Discuss logic puzzles. Maybe he'll think we're interesting. Or smart or we should ask Norman, and this is purely platonic, this question, but we're going to ask him if he's single just because I'm curious. Aminta has learned that Norman is married to Rosalie. Okay, that's very cool. We should meet your wifey. We got to get this. We're not losing because actually we need the money. I'm so sorry, Norman. We're just, I know. We shouldn't be doing this to you. We're friends. Look, he hated that. He was like, why would you do that to me? I thought we were friends. Did we win? Yes. The pranksters win. All pranksters have received a voodoo doll, fireworks, and $500. Boom, bang, biggity, bong, bong. So we've absolutely slayed it here today. Oops. She's tired. She's tired, honestly. She ate meat, which... Like, ugh, I wish we wouldn't have done. She's tired. She ate meat. She won for the pranksters, the Humor and Hijinks Festival. This was her first Humor and Hijinks Festival. It was great. All right. Let's go to bed. Because honestly, at this point, we're probably not going to get as much sleep as we should. Let's hit it, girly. We spent, like, all day out at the library. We have to go to work tomorrow. We haven't had one breakthrough. Oh, we don't have to go till 10. So that's actually at least good that we don't have to go till 10. So she is up. That's great. Let's 
wake her up. Let's have her go to the bathroom really quickly. Let's have her take a thoughtful shower. And then we're also going to have her shave her leg hair. Because it looks like we're getting a little long. Perfect. Okay. Did all that. Oh, she's got her comfy fits going today. What's happening with the back of your head? Oh, it's just some weird clipping. Oh, and then she's going to have some eggs and eggs and toast, which is perfect because that will not compromise your vegetarian beliefs, which is exactly what we like to see. Following that veggie diet, girl. Work for Amenta starts in about one hour. Let's actually, let's ponder moves until we leave, which will be very, very shortly here. Yes, Eureka, Aminta Berry has had her first breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a momentum conserver. Click on the notebook button at the top of the phone menu to learn more about it. Very cool. All right, we had a one breakthrough. And we're going to join her for her first day as a scientist. Daily experimentation. Welcome to Future Sims Labs. You'll be quite busy conducting essential experiments, researching new technology, and maybe even interacting with alien life. It is your job to leverage potent scientific equipment for the purposes of good. We hope. Well, welcome. Awesome. It is our first day at work. Okay, I just nipped into Cass really quick um, to change her work outfit. So I just, I want to make sure, so it would, it takes your glasses off. I wanted to make sure she had her glasses back on. Um, and it looks like as well that we are just getting the base, where am I, the basic, um, sim lab here i believe what i would like to do is swap this out okay we are gonna grab this one by sim lissy we're gonna place it it's what venue type future sim lab labs current furnished yes yes let's let that change up so this is what our new futuristic sim lab looks like from Miss Simlissy. Very, very cute, honestly. Love it. So now let's jump back in. And these are all of our co-workers. Actually, now we have a perfect opportunity to see them. None of the people it looks like that we met at the lab. So there's Ryan. There's Logan. There's William. This is Harvey, and this is Audra. Well, let's go ahead and say hi to Audra right at the beginning of the day here. Ninja. Huh. Maybe she'll like us. Maybe she'll want to so, be friends. So. Hey, okay, perfect. Yeah. We, well, Lashu. we didn't like Audra. Uh -huh. We think Audra's pretentious. Yeah. She seems to be rather Ninja. pretentious. Chino okay, Chino maybe Chino. she's going to be one of our dislikes. We're going to ask a coworker for a crystal. So since we're already talking to her, Ooh. let's just go ahead and ask Audra Robert if we can have a crystal. See what she says. Can Kubu Kweba? Audra's really pretty. <laughs> yes. I wonder why we think she's pretentious. She Oosh. says, sure, I have some extra crystal, crystals lying around. Here you go. She gave us an Jimmy orange Simmons. topaz. Thanks, uh -huh. Audra. Uh -huh. We also need to get to know a coworker. So we are going to get to know Audra. I, like, eh? Aminta would probably be a little bit. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if she would be more like she makes her mind up about people right away. And that's kind of it. And now she's, we've gone down. Okay, let's go say hi to Ryan. Um, and now we've kind of gone, gone down a road where we're just not going to like Audra. We're not going to get along. Or maybe we can be proven wrong once we get to know her a little bit more. So I want to say hello to Ryan. I want to see what she thinks of Ryan. And maybe we can get to know Ryan a little bit more. And then we have a couple of other things we need to do. We need to invent the momentum conserver and we need to practice our ana analysis. So we can do all those things today at our scientist job. Hey Ryan, what's up? What are you making there? Are you making a, oh yes, that's hot buddy. Watch out. Maybe Ryan's not the smartest. 
Chiruda. scientist on the block. Okay. We think Ryan is emotionally expressive. We oh, also George. think he's interesting. Harry, but I don't think he new. thought we oh, were the greatest. So let's try to get to know him a little bit. Corbis. But also, let's Dobby see what Ryan thought about us. Slow night skooma. Ryan thought that we were shallow. So some Sims are deep with meaningful, meaning, meaningful concerns and life purposes. On first impressions, the Sim is not. This Sim is not one of them. Quite the opposite. Yikes! Uh, you were shallow. Okay, harsh, we'll Ryan. Harsh, bro. Oh, harsh. Uh, All right. Well, we yibs, got to know him. We need to water a plant. Do we? Any plants over here need watering? Perfect. Let's go water. Let's go water some plants. Come water some plants, and then we're gonna. Then I think we should invent the momentum conserver. I want to start filling up her house with all the sciencey things that she makes at work. So, but she's gonna water plants. She did that. That's great. And then let's go ahead. I think this is where we invent device, the momentum conserver. Let's invent that once we're done. We had a breakthrough. Eureka. Aminta Berry had her second breakthrough. Perfect. So that we got our two breakthroughs. We are currently a lab technician, so we should be gearing up. What's up, Norman? Yeah, I'll answer your phone call. Hey, Aminta, I've been thinking about getting to know Branson Chambers better as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? I'm unsure, Norman. I've never met Branson before, so I would say, to be honest, I'm not sure. Don't know much about the guy. Up to you, my good man. You decide your own fate, Norman. Great. Are we freaking done with the plants? Can we invent a device? Momentum conserver. Would love to see it. Can we go here? Can we invent a device? Build our momentum conserver. She is enshrouded in knowledge right now. The knowledge to build and invent. She's so smart. And she's so cute. Red um, you need to go there. You need to do this. She's inputting her data. <laughs> Science. Woo. Yeah. Boom, bang, boom. We invented the momentum conserver. So Aminta invented a momentum conserver. Turn it on and watch it spin. What is she going to do right now? View. No, 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 um, where'd Audra go? Oh, Audra's doing a pee. Okay, let's wait on that one. Practice analysis, why don't we do that? Practice analysis, come on over. Now we are doing analysis. Perfect, okay, so we practiced that. I think we're getting logic skill. So let's analyze our crystal that it wants us to do. And we have actually maxed our work day out over here, which is great. Which you guys haven't been able to see this whole time. Let me move my camera. Yikes. Learning how to learning how to YouTube here. So ah. bear, bear with me. But yes, as you guys can see here, we have maxed our work day out. So this whole time when I've been talking about the things that we're supposed to do, that's been up in that corner, which is also where my face has been. So you guys haven't been able to see it. But, as you can see, I have been doing all the things we are supposed to be doing. So, that's phenomenal. That's good. That's grand. That's jolly. So, our workday will end in an hour. We should wrap up what we're doing. And then we can extend the workday. I don't think we're going to extend the workday today. Just because we got everything done that we, we really wanted to get done. But, I think what we are going to do is see if we can go digging for a little bit because we do need to get the element collection. And I know being here is, there's just always spawned in rocks, which is great. It's one of the best things about the scientist career is these like rocks constantly spawn in. So it makes it really easy to get collections just because otherwise you have to go looking for rocks um, and it can be difficult. So our girl is gonna excavate some of these rocks here before the end of the day. We got a capsule so we can see what's inside there. We also can get extra money from this because we can sell the stuff that we don't oh. need or don't want. Uh, we got a, what does that say? 
Punium? Punium. Okay, that's the end of our day. So we did a fantastic job. It won't be long before academic prestige and scientific achievement achievements arrive. Oh, we got a, a promoted. We got a promotion. So we were promoted to apprentice inventor. We'll make an additional $8 for a grand total of $32 per hour. We've also received the following bonus. We got $192. We got new clothes. We can journey to the stars, or that's what we got. And then our next shift is going to be tomorrow. All right. Back home we are. Let's have her change her outfit into, let's just do kind of an everyday comfy. Actually, I think it's really hot. So let's get her into her summer fit. Um, She's hungry. So I'm going to have her grab some food. Well, actually, let's have her serve a dinner and maybe she can make some vegetable dumplings and as she kind of cooks I think this is where I am going to leave this one you guys I'm really really excited to continue this challenge to continue um, seeing how this legacy plays out and seeing what our girl Aminta gets up to if you guys enjoyed this video um leave me a like leave me a subscribe i'm brand brand new so this is it's gonna be really exciting for me otherwise i will see you guys in the next one